Today I'm going to be showing you the MS2108A digital clamp meter. I purchased this from Gearbest and I'll include a link in the description below on how you can get your own. I'm going to do a little unboxing. I'm not sure how much I'm going to show you but here's what the box looks like. Uh, mine got a little bit damaged in the box. Don't know how that happened. It was shipped via DHL uh, very quickly because uh, I had a large order from Gearbest, so it came within like five days from when I ordered it. Amazing. But, you know, things like that happen, but it's not going to affect the, the meter. So let's open it. There was no seal here. It just opens like that. And it comes inside this case. There's nothing else in the box, so you can push that off to the side. Here's what it comes like. Case with the carrying strap. Let's see what's inside. Okay, the case opens up, and inside we have everything. Here's the meter itself. There are some test probes and a user manual. And that's all that's in the carrying case. The carrying case has a nice little pocket here for the probes and it's actually it's pretty cushioned I gotta say um, so if you have the meter in there you bump it it's not gonna mess anything up so gotta say the case is pretty good overall let me put that off to the side so here we have everything wrapped up and it seems to pretty be a pretty in-depth manual tells you a lot about it preliminary always warnings symbols tells you where everything is okay I'm not gonna go through this whole thing but there's a lot of pages, a lot of information. It's all in English. Looks pretty good. Here are the test probes. It's made by Hyalek. And it says uh, 1 kilovolt cat to 10 amp maximum. So that's what it looks like. And the test leads uh, in the package have these covers. And I'm going to show you. I'll just pull it off in there. There's the test lead. So really nice so far. Here is the meter itself. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay. And it is in a sealed package. There is actually just tape covering it. So let me see if I get this off. Yeah, real easy. It's really easy to get off tape. Comes right out. And here's what the back of it looks like. So let's let's run it down. It's got 600 volt cat 3, pollution degree 2, Chinese ex export, warning, has three AAA batteries, and there are no batteries. I paid almost 40 bucks for this thing and they don't even include batteries. Uh, the clamp is really tight. So I've inserted the batteries in and closed up the box, so let's see what it looks like. Um, when you initially turn it on, there's the screen, and you can cycle through them. I don't have the test leads inserted, and it's really sensitive. That's why it's giving readings right now, even though there's nothing connected. Nice thing about this is it has a backlight if you're working in the dark. So you just press and hold this, and the backlight comes on. It's pretty bright. Press and hold it for a second and it goes away. A uh, clamp meter is really useful for a situation where you can't disconnect the line in order to measure how much current is flowing through it. So a great example is the mains that are coming into a house or to a business. Here I've got a two-phase 120 volt uh, setup and what I'm going to show you is how I can measure how much load is on each phase without even disconnecting the line. So here I've got the peak meter. I'm going to wrap it around this mains. And as you can see, it's upside down, but it's pulling 22.7 roughly amps on 120 volts. I can also check this line, and you can see this phase is pulling 8. Point, well, it's pulling somewhere around 8.2 amps. About 8, it jumps around. So that's the. Uh, that's the peak meter. So there you go, the peak meter. Really accurate, really nice. 
and good value for the money. Thanks for watching.